heading to Gobekli Tepe in style. Look at this. Special view for a special cameraman. We're about to finally enter Gobekli Tepe. What's on your mind? I'm just excited to finally see it in person already. The terrain is much different than I expected from the photos. Um, pretty nice view around here and they've really built a lot around this site. Um, I'm just excited that we're here before the rush and here pretty early and I'm, I'm just e enormously excited because this is one of the most important historical sites in the world. So here we are at the actual site which is now covered by this overhang, I guess a uh, non-retractable roof, I might call it. And right at the entrance, we have a brief synopsis of the main historical narrative saying that this was discovered in 1963 and then the main excavations took place under the leadership of Professor Klaus Schmidt from Heidelberg University and I guess there's a lot of controversy surrounding this text right here which as you can see it says Schmidt's research led to the discovery of buildings, pillars, and small finds which have drastically altered our understanding of this crucial period in human history, i.e. the transition from hunter-gatherer to food-producing lifeways, also referred to as the Neolithic Revolution. I guess for many critics of the, the uh, mainline narrative, that explanation does not go far enough in satisfying uh, they're corroborating what, what they believe is that uh, what you're looking at right down here is not just evidence of a very credible civilization constructed by hunter-gatherers, but evidence that they indeed were far more than hunter-gatherers and that there was somewhat of advanced civilization back then, I guess 10,000 or even 12,000 years ago. So a lot of controversy surrounds that text, although from my understanding, I guess the official Turkish explanation here maybe goes farther than or further than the mainline narrative explaining the advancements of ancient civilizations. Behind me is the main excavation site at Gobekli Tepe. There are multiple excavation sites, but this is the first one on what is basically the arranged uh, order, and it is the most prominent one, and specifically this little circular area right down here from what I'm there we go something like that from what I'm hearing as I flip the camera around so apparently this circular area right here is the oldest part of the excavation and the most significant and particularly right here this pillar has some very impressive carvings with which Josh Sigurdsson is explaining on world alternative media and he's talking about how there's orion's belt on there and how there's a particular bag that all the different ancient civilizations used of course head over to wham to hear more about it but likewise it's just very neat how the carvings jut out in a sense they're 3d carvings which is extremely advanced and the dating at least according to Josh Sigurdsson is around 9600 BC so we're talking nearly 12,000 years ago when this site right here was constructed very very impressive and as I circle around Gobekli Tepe I should also note that there's a lot of controversy surrounding the dating of this ancient settlement 
and civilization and I guess there's there are thousands of years in difference in dating between various narratives surrounding Gobekli Tepe and I'm gonna try to get Josh Sigurdsson to elaborate on the discrepancies and the controversy. It's also worth noting that due to recent changes here, including the roof and I guess this walkway, you can now you're now unable to walk right up next to the stones. I was told by someone from this area who's been here several times in the past that previously you could walk around down there and literally walk right next to the stones and walk through the settlement and explore it from right there right here. These animals are usually somehow matched up with some kind of uh, star constellation. This is matched with the Cygnus constellation altogether, but there's reliefs that are matched to the Orion, Orion's belt. Also, these are also people, these columns. So if you look in some areas, see the front, the side here? That would be the front. And many of them have arms that are on the side and faces on the, on the uh, side of the thing too. So basically those are heads. Oh, so it's there like, many things. like Easter Island. Kind of. Yeah, actually very much like that. This is pretty incredible over here. This is a newer part of the structure. Higher up, of course, uh, from the lower down structures, which are the oldest. And you see them carrying on the same reliefs. Arms wrapped around the pillars, obviously it's more broken. And we also have, well, <laughs> the average T-shaped pillar. A lot has been knocked down by the looks of it, but uh, still some sa standing. And they're still doing a lot of extensive um, excavation work here that has barely scratched the surface. So one can only imagine there's going to be a lot found in the next few years, at least looking at what we found in the lower down older areas um, the more they dig there's a good chance this structure according to ground penetrating radar anyway is covering almost the entirety of this huge hill that they call potbelly hill gobekli tepe gobekli tepe is getting pretty touristy the tour groups are coming in and doing some weird things also dancing over there and singing but uh anyway even though it's getting touristy, even though there's this overhang that some people object to, and now you can't walk around inside of the ancient settlement and civilization, despite all that, this is really fascinating. Fascinating history, fascinating controversy, and some of these pillars and carvings are just extremely impressive. What you do when you stumble upon possibly the most significant site from the ancient world. You dance and you sing, of course. And they keep coming and they keep coming. Gobekli Tepe is no secret no more. I guess if I were to sum up the core of the controversy surrounding this site, it would simply be this. Could people who were hunter-gatherers construct this advanced of a settlement, if not civilization, with such advanced designs and architecture and carvings?